Hey everyone, John Chow here from johnchow.com. It is Saturday. I'm here at the San Clemente outlet for the South Orange County Cars and Coffee. I'm actually here. The show has just started. Actually, it hasn't started yet. It's still got 15 minutes. So all the cars are coming in. So let me show it to you right now. Yeah. It all looks like I see Camaros, vintage Camaro right there. Another Camaro, that's a Z28. Followed by a Tesla. I'm not sure the Tesla coming to the show or if he's going to the supercharger. I think she's going to the supercharger. I see some hot rods. I see lots of cars all lining up. And the, the greeter there is directing them to uh, where to go. Cool. All right, let's, let's cross the street and see some of the cars. Man, that feels pretty loud. Driving position is pretty funny too. Yeah, I'll cross now. Cross in front of the Alpha. Alright. Even though I came here early, it's already getting pretty busy. Yeah, it's, the temperatures right now is beautiful. It is like already, it's only 8, 8.50 a.m. And it's uh, already 80 degrees right now. So it's going to be a hot day. And uh, when it, whenever it's sunny, it, the cars come out. So let's take a look. All right. We'll start here with, this is the organizer of Cars and Coffee, Simon. Yes, no, that's, it. that's not his car at all. I'm sorry. This is his friend's car. All right, we have a Ferrari 488. 488, very nice. And we have, looks like the Cobra Club. So really nice Shelby Cobras here. Oh, I see. They are here. These guys are here to promote the upcoming movie Ford versus Ferrari. So we have some GT40s. All right, so these are the GT40s. They were built in, I think around 90 days because Ford got pissed off at Ferrari because Ferrari refused to sell to him. So they built the... Uh, they built these cars to go kick Ferrari's ass. And the these cars were built by Carl Shelby. Makers of this and the Shelby Mustang and the Shelby Mustang, uh, the Shelby Cobra, another Shelby Cobra, J4 GT. There's a hive of activities right now. Awesome. More Cobra. I never seen so many Shelby Cobras assembled in one place before. Look at this. Look at that stack. Nice. Yeah, I'd be Yeah, Ferrari 812. All right, so this is the uh, the most powerful Nashi aspirated Ferrari made. It's the most powerful Nashi aspirated engine. V12, 800 horsepower. It's a beautiful car. Another Ferrari 360. Porsche GT3 RS, always evolving. And it's a good look right here. So this is on this side is a GT3, regular GT3. And this is the RS edition. Now the difference is, uh, first of all, you can see the fender flares here. I mean the fender extractor to extract hot air. That's missing on the GT3. And a uh, little option, uh, carbon fiber on the roof versus no carbon fiber, carbon fiber in the mirror versus no carbon. And of course the, uh, the, the mega wing versus the, uh, the semi mega wing. <laughs> so there you go. The difference in price between the two, I believe is anywhere from 50 to $100,000. So it's a significant, significant upgrade to go for the, the RS versus the regular GT3. Uh, another thing, another thing, one more thing. To save weight on the GT3 RS, see this Porsche Crest, that's metal. On the GT3 RS, that's a deco. That's a deco. Yeah, it's not, just to save an ounce or two, they, they switched a, a metal plaque to a deco. <laughs> Crazy, huh? <laughs> All right, continuing. 
not a GT3RS. This one is uh, in white. Very nice. Ferrari Italia, Spider, Lamborghini Gallardo, another GT3. These spaces are reserved for the other supercars that will, that will eventually show up. And I see over there, we got the Volkswagen, a microbus, uh, Begay. <laughs> nice. And the punch buggy, more Porsches, Austin Martin driving in. The NSX club, including uh, F Cancer NSX, very nice. AMG GT, and all right, this Porsche, vintage Porsche, another Cobra, more Porsches, more Porsches, more Porsches. Over there, got a slat nose Porsche here. This is very cool. Yeah, see, this is the regular headlights of, uh, of the 911. And that's a slat nose. Yeah, it was, thought, it was first done by an aftermarket tuning company, but it proved so popular that Porsche started offering themselves if you're willing to pay $30,000 for it. Nice dog, relaxing in the shade. Dogs are welcome at cars and coffee. Micro bus. Interesting, uh, interesting sun cover. Uh, another vintage Porsche here. Beautifully restored too. Look at that. Look at that. Wow. And Quimeros. And, and oh, check out this Honda S2000. I uh, remember the movie Fast and Furious. Well, I think this is what Johnny Tran was driving. Look at that. Oh my God. So you got the regular, uh, uh, you know, the. I guess you. Well, it's not a spoon engine, but you know, in the movie they call it a spoon engine. So you see that a supercharger, there's a supercharger right there. Goes right into the inner cooler right here and into the engine. That's crazy. Yeah. I'm not sure if it's 150,000 bucks in the motor, but it's probably pretty close. And this S2000 is for sale. Oh, yeah. All right. Came right along. I see over there the, the Volkswagen Punch Buggy Club. Uh, yeah, this is why we don't have a, the punch buggy game at Cars and Coffee. Uh, Sally and I, we just be punching each other a lot, a lot. <laughs> Electric bicycle, right? nice, good way to see Cars and Coffee. And here's a, people coming in, yeah. Porsche, I see lots. Of, yeah, all the Porsche want to park within the, the Porsche spot and they're being, that's over there. So, another Porsche here, and Corvette Z06. Blacked out rear. That's very nice here. It's having a blacked out rear with a nice contrast to the silver paint. And and this thing here has a Corvette motor. So here you see the, the classic LS motor. You know, the, these LS motors are indestructible. They're very popular. They're used in pretty much every application. So I'm not surprised at all that if you're going to rebuild a, a vintage muscle car and you don't have a motor, you will go with the LS. Vintage Corvette, one of the very first few injected uh, Corvettes or few injected motors ever made actually, this one. C6, C6 Corvette, Pontiac GTO, these are very rare. Mach 1 Mustang. Newer Mustangs, more Mustang, all the Mustang clubs are here. Max then with Paxton Supercharger. And uh, I, I see this group of men or uh, gentlemen always here. I think this is the, like the meetup hangout location every Saturday. Yeah. Another punch buggy. And a small Lotus. I think, is this an Elan? Yeah, I mean, you know, the Porsche 911 is not a particularly big car, but it looks huge next to this thing. And it is, it is an Elan, it's an Elan S2. I mean, yeah, you know, I would consider this a death trap. If you roll this thing, you're dead. So just don't roll it. <laughs> All right, gonna go between a couple of uh, vintage pickup trucks here. I can't believe it, like, uh, 
it's just nine o'clock. The, sh the show has just officially opened and we're almost full. Well, like this lot's almost completely full. There's a Jaguar F-Type, Mustang, Corvette, Corvette, C4 Corvette, an old V8 pickup truck, an SS, nice, 396, SS Camaro, another Camaro SS for multiple generation, and uh, this is a, a Tesla Roadster. Not, it's not a, it's based on a Lotus, but this is a Tesla Roadster, it's electric. So this is a Tesla's first car. Yeah. Tesla's first electric car right here. That proves the concept that electric car can be exciting and can be fun. Yeah. Right. Next. Corvettes, more Corvettes. This is a Chevy Lane here. Camaros, SS, split window Corvette. 63 split windows, is this what I think it is? Yes, let me check the back. It is a split window. Uh, this was only made one year in 1963. And that's it, they split the window right down the side. It was never made again because why? Uh, it blocked off visibility to the rear view mirror. You can't, they couldn't see out the back. So Zora wanted it, the other Corvette team did not. So they made it for one year only. So this is super rare. And if you can find one, if you own one, like this is an appreciating asset right here. Mazda. <laughs> Fast and Furious Supra. Mitsubishi. Nice scoop of muscle car. And I see, I see people lining up for the coffee. Very nice. <laughs> I never seen that before. That's the, First time I've seen that many people line up for coffee. Wow. Maybe they're having a special. And uh, that's how you, that's an interesting way to back up. See, you look outside. That's right, you look outside and you look out your little small window in the back. <laughs> have you ever, the thing? A red, a red eye S, SRT uh, Dodge. <coughs> and what is this? My God, this is slammed to the ground. It's a hot rod Mazda 3. Look at the lip on this uh, on that wheel. My words. That's insane. This started life as a lowly Mazda 3. Look at it now. The anti banging banging club. My words. Okay. <laughs> Continue right along. <laughs> That's what I have here. Roadrunner. A 440, six banger. Another Porsche Beaster. Right. And, hey, cool. Free bucket seats. If you want it, call this guy. He'll give it to you. <laughs> ah, there you go. A uh, couple of Lotuses here. This is what that Tesla Rosa was based on. All right, and I see over here, we have some Alfa Romeo, some Porsches, uh, an old Ford Bronco. It looks like a Bronco. It, it is a Bronco. Vintage. I think that's the Alfa Romeo that it was at the front. He finally found a parking spot. All right, we're coming up uh, near the end of the lot. Here's a nice classic uh, Porsche 911. Let's see. This looks interesting right here. Hero Jeep. Yeah, that's nice. That's a big Jeep. <laughs> really big Jeep. Alright, so let's see what else is here that's interesting and cool. I see a Cromel coming in. He's got the he's got the angel lights on there. Very nice. Uh, yeah, it's still filling up, so lots of cars coming in still. Camaro must be the Camaro Club. Another Camaro. Uh, another Camaro. <laughs> yeah, it's all Camaros. And here's a vintage Camaro you want to compare. Here's a four-pulpy Plymouth. 
Foot full case RS. Okay, back into a spot. I'll let, him, I'll let him go. It's got bimbo brakes on it. Very nice. Oh, check it out. Classic Thunderbird. Yeah. Hey, nice. And he's got a, looks like a homemade roll bar. <laughs> nice. And a home wrap wheel. So, over there, I see Mercedes next to a hot rod. Nice, and check out this Mustang. Check out this Mustang. A great display of, is that what I think it is? No, that's not a supercharger. This is just a naturally aspirated motor with a cold air introduction. El Camino. Uh, another car with a homemade roll bar. Firebird. All right, I think we're coming to the end. Yeah, this is yeah the 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 really end lots just starting to fill up, but cars are still coming in, and yeah. So this is cars and coffee. It's like what time is it right now? Let me look. It's 9:02. So basically, the show opened officially two minutes ago. So 9:02, and the lot is like 90, 95 percent full. So this is the uh, the biggest cars and coffee in the world. It was started in Irvine, and now it's moved down here to South Orange County. And if you're ever in the area, you should come check it out. It's, it happens every Saturday from 9 to 11. 9 to 11, and uh, it's family friendly, kids friendly, dogs are welcome as well. So, all right, this is the show. Thank you very much for watching. Give me a thumbs up if you like that. Please like and share my video, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys next time.